Hello everybody, uh, this is Varo. Today actually topic is about um, the confidence of a filmmaker. You know, as a filmmaker, you gotta be confident, man. You know, these shoots are very, very stressful. <laughs> these shoots are very, very, uh, uh, you know, is, you know, some shoot are one take, you know what I'm saying? Like wedding shoots is one take. You can't, you can't be like, oh, oh, sorry. You know, we're gonna do it again tomorrow. Nah, it's one take. <laughs> so you gotta be very, very, uh, uh, very, very confident when you go to this type of shoot. We're gonna talk about three things. The first thing is the preparation. The second thing is practice. The third thing is managing. The first thing preparation. What's about preparation? You know, um, preparation bring confidence. Meaning that, so if I have, if I want to shoot, if I have a video shoot coming up, like tomorrow I have a video shoot in, uh, on Thursday. This Thursday I have a video shoot in Sioux Falls. You know, um, it's a two, it's a two big shoots, two major shoot. You know, and I'm going there with confidence, you know what I'm saying, despite, you know, um, you know, never know, last minute thing, but I'm going there with confidence because I'm being prepared, you know what I'm saying, I already, I, I, dis I, I wrote the script for the shoot, you know, um, I found the models for the shoot, you know, um, I talked with the artists about the prep, uh, the prop that we need and, and everything, and uh, um, so I'm going there with confidence, you know, just because I'm prepared, I'm more prepared for this shoot, because I've been playing this shoot for like, uh, how long have we been playing this shoot, for like three weeks now? Um, I'm playing this shoot for three weeks, so we got the location, we got the models, we got the props, uh, and then uh, we're ready to shoot. So um, so that's what it, that's what it come down to. Um, preparation you know preparation is very very major i've seen a lot of uh people going to shoot and not be prepared and you know everything kind of like messed up you know what i'm saying and uh, um yeah so preparation is a very big thing so and and i'm gonna give a couple more example that uh where i was some some of the shoot that i did that uh, uh i was a little bit uh, um a little bit worried <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Especially, especially here in Atlanta, um, you know, sometimes when you rent the studio, you only rent it for an hour, for two hours, for three hours, you can rent it for half a day or, or, or the whole day, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, and going to do shoot, you know, there's always somebody ready to step in after your hour is done, you know what I'm saying? If it took only one hour to come and do this shoot, uh, you got to make sure you get all your shit. <laughs> you make sure all your stuff done in one hour. If you book it for two hours, you gotta make sure you get all your stuff in two hours. So, um, couple of shoot that I, you know, it was very, very uh, uh lot, kind of like on the edge. It was uh, um, I had to do a, a mini promo for my shoot, uh, no call back. So I only got like two hours to shoot. You know, sometimes you have two hours, you think that you have the whole time. Like, well, I'm gonna come over there, I'm gonna shoot, I'm gonna shoot this, I'm gonna shoot that, I'm gonna shoot it. But trust me, it doesn't happen like that. You know what I'm saying? And um, so going to this shoot, I was I was very prepared. I already knew I had the song ready. You know, I had the, um, I had the model ready. You know, I had, the, um, I had the concept ready. You know what I'm saying? But even though I had all that stuff ready, I was still, you know what I'm saying? You never know, you know, usually on this set, there's something always happen, you know, and you have to be, as a filmmaker, you have to be uh, um, ready for all these challenges, you know what I'm saying? And um, so we start shooting, you know, and then the time just keep passing, <laughs> like, okay, hold on, I only got one hour left. That day, I see, I see, I see, I see, gotta get you to shoot, you know what I'm saying? But I wasn't, I wasn't too much prepared because it was my shoot, you know what I'm saying? I was like, okay, shit, I, I've been doing this for a long time. I know exactly what I'm going to be doing. <laughs> so I was like, oh, shoot, only one hour left. I was like, damn, I still got to get this, uh, uh, this solo performances. I got to get this model perform solo performances. But at the end of the day, I got it done. You know what I'm saying? And you got to excuse me, it's very, these lights are very, very hard out here. <laughs> I got to make sure I turn it down a little bit of this light. Very very hot, so that's why I'm a little bit sweating here. But uh, uh, yeah, I got I got this down a little bit down. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know this life. You know this. I don't like going live, man. <laughs> live, you know, there's no retake. But uh, uh, yeah, so I was like, hey, thank you uh for everybody joining, tuning in, man. I really appreciate that. Um, so this life is very very hot, so I'm gonna be uh. 
I gotta give me one second so I can get um so I can get already here. Okay, cool. I'm back now. Um so um confidence of a of a filmmaker. So no matter, I had like two hours left, you know what I'm saying, to shoot this video, this quick promo. You know, it's only like, it was only like 30 second promo video that I was going to shoot, but I'm like, damn, I didn't know I'm gonna go with that and knock this thing out, but you know, it doesn't always happen like that. So, um, so I like one hour to finish, <laughs> do some solo performances and do, and I had to fly the drone inside the, I had to fly my drone inside the, uh, inside the, uh, this facility that I rented. So I started flying the drone. I noticed that, uh, um, they have like a, they have an AC blowing on top of the, the ceiling. So every time I was trying to get my drone up there, <laughs> the drone kept waving because there was too much uh, wind blowing. So that's one thing I wasn't prepared for, you know what I'm saying? But you know, um, as an experienced filmmaker, you know what I'm saying? I was like, okay, cool. I had to, sometimes you have to like, if you feel like a shoot is not going, if you feel like a, a, uh, a uh, you're trying to do this specific specific shoot and it's not going as do you want, you know what I'm saying? And you see the time is running out, <laughs> you know. So you gotta make a decision: should I just cut this, cut this, this part out out of the video, or or keep going? But you know, those are the decisions that you have to make if that shoot is very important or not. You know what I'm saying? But I was confident. You know what I'm saying? I still got my stuff done. I still got the shoot, uh, the shoot done. You know what I'm saying? That's why it come to preparation. You know, I should I like, make sure, you know, when the real, sometimes the real, when you know, real set, like real film, you know, they make sure that the way this, um, the, they make sure the, 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 the weather, they check the weather, you know what I'm saying? They make sure it's going to be raining that day. It's going to be hot that day. It's going to be snowing that day. You know what I'm saying? All that's come from preparation. But if you know that, okay, it's going to be, it's going to be snowing or it's going to be raining, you know what I'm saying? Now you're going to adapt your shoot based on those conditions. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes when you deal with like small budget shoot, you know, those things are usually not um, being checked on, you know what I'm saying? But, and that's why sometimes lower your confidence because you come to the set and then, you don't know what type of weather it's gonna be like, you know what I'm saying? You don't know what type of, you know what I'm saying? You don't know what, what's gonna be on set, but as a filmmaker, you know what I'm saying? You have to make sure all that all that's one is checked out. You know, that's what come from, um, that's what um, preparation bring, you know what I'm saying? You gotta be prepared, you know? And uh, um, somebody said, I need, I need you, let's make a fucking movie. Hey, let's make a movie. You know, I got a lot of movie coming up. I got a series coming up. Um, I got a, uh, I got a, a, a dope, this dope ass series that, uh, uh, that uh, my team is. You know, what I'm saying we almost done. You know, the first, the first season is almost done. You know, what I'm saying it's so great. I'm about to buy two more seasons. You know, what I'm saying I would say like I don't, I don't, don't worry if I write script, I write check. You know, what I'm saying I got that shit done. You know what I'm saying, and uh, I'm planning on shooting. I'm planning on shooting that series uh, next year. Yeah, next year I'm planning on shooting that series. You know what I'm saying, and you know it's auto finance. You know what I'm saying, it's auto finance. What's up, Queso? Queso in the building. Queso, what's up? <laughs> uh, I see. Uh, you know what I'm saying. So we we're gonna we're gonna shoot that movie. We're gonna shoot that series. It's a, it's a the f I got the first six episodes done. You know what I'm saying. I'm waiting for. It's a ten. It's a ten. It's a ten episode uh, season. So six is done. Six in the bag. I'm ready to shoot that. You know what I'm saying. I'm financing everything by myself. You know how that thing go. I ain't got no time to wait on nobody. I'm doing my own thing. You know what I'm saying. The SBA is playing around. You know we're gonna do the thing. The bank is playing around. I'm putting all my, my own money up. You know what I'm saying? It's not easy, but, you know, I've been doing this for a long time. I can shoot that shit myself. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, um, so we got that 10, we got that 10, uh, series coming up. The first, the first season almost done. Um, shoot that next year. You know, so great. I'm about to buy two more seasons. So, um, so get back to the, um, and I'm gonna hit you guys up about, you know, some roles, 
you know what I'm saying, about playing some roles and the thing, you know, I already got a couple models ready for that. I got a couple homies ready for that. But, you know, when it comes to that, you know, um, you have to understand that like, this business, you know, that's how we tell, I would tell, uh, um, People that I work with, man, like this is business, man, business, business. A shoot is very important. For example, if somebody, if you schedule a shoot, and then um, everybody is important. Whether it's the light person, the model, the little, <laughs> the little dude that play any role, everybody is important. Everybody is important. So if you play around, hey, you know, <laughs> when when one person can mess up a whole shoot, a whole day, a whole everything you be like oh that just like a, you only as strong as the weakest link you know what i'm saying and showing up on set showing up showing up for a shoot is very very important you know what i'm saying it's is some shoot you can't redo like i said like a wedding shoot you can't be like oh man i can't you know t something happened you know oh, my baby i'm tripping on you don't want to hear none of that crap <laughs> you know what i'm saying you got to be there because it's important and you not being there, the shoot, you know, the shoot's not happening. You know what I'm saying? So it's very important that people understand how it's important to be, to at least show up at the shoot. You know, I, I, me, I'm all about, uh, um, you can show up even if you just, if you don't do anything, as long as you're there. You know what I'm saying? That's all that matters because I can train you on set. I can train you. You can become... If somebody don't show up, you can play that person role. You know what I'm saying? At least, but at least you have to show up. You have to show up. You know what I'm saying? This is like a video is still a contact, it's still a contact, um, still a contact business. That means I have to be next to you to shoot your video. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's very important that you shoot. So that's why if everybody show up, you know the the filmmaker is confident, the director is confident. You know what I'm saying? The 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 person that pay for or everything is confident so it's very important confidence is a very very big thing when it comes to filmmaking you know what i'm saying and uh, punctuality and and showing up is very important you know the second thing is practice you know practice is very very also very important you know i will give you a quick example you know you know i lost my drone couple couple of weeks ago <laughs> i went over there in atlanta i was all the way up there in the uh, downtown Atlanta, you know, it was four o'clock in the morning, you know, I was trying to, you know, I had the idea in my head, like, man, let me just go fly my drone up there and, <laughs> and create some nice content, you know what I'm saying, you know, most of the, sh most of this drone shoot, I, it's, I shoot it myself, you know what I'm saying, some of this shot, you might not see my hands, maybe behind my head, behind, behind me, like, piloting, piloting the, the, with the controller, like, flying up and down, you know, I've been doing so for so long, like, I'm still very, very, uh, 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 it's still very, very, uh, uh, um, uh, how do you say that? It's still very, very challenging, you know what I'm saying? Flying everything yourself and making sure that you still get the shot that you want, you know what I'm saying? So I went up there, I went up there, um, um, downtown, <laughs> and I went up there to the, that was over there by the, how do you call that? Basically, it was downtown, you know, so when the high rise, I went on top of the parking lot, you know, um, I turned my drone up, you know what I'm saying, I, 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 <laughs> you know, it told me like no GPS signal, like, I'm used to it, you know what I'm saying, sometimes it does that and then back, it come back around like, you know, it was four o'clock, you know what I'm saying, in the morning, you know what I'm saying, I had a little bit of drink, you know, like, well, I'm just ignore that, so as soon as I, <laughs> I flew my drone up, beep. I couldn't control it anymore. That thing just went up and crashed. So, so I, I I spent like two weeks without using my drone. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, so yesterday I I was went to this uh, waterfall. You know what I'm saying? To shoot. Um, I finally got another drone. You know what I'm saying? But it's been so long since I since I flew that drone. Since I flew a drone. So I was a little bit more. I was nervous. I'm like, damn, how come? Like I'm used to this, but I'm nervous. Like what? <laughs> because it was a waterfall, you know. Say so like, okay, cool, Vado, you gotta, you gotta get it together. So, um, you know, that's what come with practice. You know, what I'm saying because I've been through it for so long. Now coming back to it again, like damn, you know, I lost a little bit of confidence. Like damn, like I might lose my drone. I was scared that I might lose my drone again. <laughs> like okay, cool, but you know, with experience, like okay, I just. 
flew that blown up. I was like, cool. Whatever happened, happened. You know what I'm saying? I start like, okay. So I start piling it again. Like, I start slowly, slowly, I start getting more confident. You know, say, so, oh, this how this thing feel again. You know what I'm saying? Because I haven't flown it for, for, for so long. Like, but, you know, you know, that's why I come with practice. You know, when you don't practice, you know what I'm saying, lose confidence. You know what I'm saying? It depends on what you working on and how to, you know what I'm saying? Usually, fly the drone is very, 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 very challenging. It's very, very challenging. Um, but, you know, after a couple tech, you know what I'm saying, I started getting confident, you know, and then I did some amazing shoot. Some of the shoot, some of the shoot in the water, you know what I'm saying? Actually, me holding the drone, if you pay attention, I had the drone, I had the drone, uh, uh, I had a drone controller on my left hand. And I put it under my um, under my leg. You know what I'm saying? And the shoot where the drone comes up <laughs> all the way up, like and coming down all the way to my face, turning at the same time. It takes a very, very skill to to do that. I was uh, I was like, okay, okay, you can still do this thing again. You know what I'm saying? I felt more confident. Like okay, you know what I'm saying? It was very uh, uh, um was very interesting. So I flew that drone. I couldn't see anything. You know what I'm saying? So I had to put my drone, I had to put a controller under my <laughs> under my legs. And if you go watch that video again, you're gonna see, you're gonna see me holding that controller. So I had to fly that drone maybe like 200 meters up all the way down. Precisely. And I had to spin it the whole time. Like slowly spin it, spin it, spin it, spin it, spin it, spin it, spin it. And then it came all the way closer to my face. That thing always chopped my face up. You know what I'm saying? I was, <laughs> I was so close. If you look at the thing, if you look at the video, when it got so close, I started laughing. That's why that laughing, that laughing. You're like, oh shoot, I'm about to chop my face up. You know what I'm saying? Because I couldn't see what it was doing. You know what I'm saying? I had to make sure that it, it, it goes straight, like from, 200 meter all the way down, all the way down, all the way down, all the way. Down. I just I had to make some effort. I just some people think that I use anything to spin that. No, no, I, it's just my finger. It's a way to do it. You know what I'm saying? I just like there's a way to do it. You know what I'm saying? To control it, you just have to practice. That's what come with practice. You know what I'm saying? Um, so that's the second thing, practice. You know, the first thing was um, preparation. You know what I'm saying? Got to make sure that you know exactly what you're doing you know you know what type of shoot you want you know what type of uh um you know what you got in your hand okay if i if i'm shooting a, a music video do i have a script yes i have the script do i have the props okay cool you know do i have uh, uh the camera for it yes do i have the, the lens for it yes do i have the location for it yes do all the models that are supposed to be in this video there yes um what time is gonna be the shoot? Eleven o'clock. Okay, cool. To what time? Cool. Yes, that's common preparation. Now, and usual, um, and usually also, you have to um, also preparation. Sometimes, okay, if you only got two hours, right? If you only got two hours for a shoot, and you got all these people to manage. That's the third thing: management. Management is a, is, a, is a third thing. I think management also is very important. But all this all this uh, stage of filmmaking is very important. But manage managing is also important. you can have everybody on set, but you don't know what to do, and the time keep, the time keep running out, and then oh, then what's going on? Like I got all these people, but I didn't get nothing done because you don't know how to manage your set. You know what I'm saying? Managing set is very important. And sometimes when I tell people when I shoot a video, sometimes the 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 power. I would need everybody on the set. For example, like if I'm shooting a video all day and I'm I'm doing some performance shot and later on uh and then there's some sh uh, scene where I'm going to have maybe like 10 people uh in the shot or maybe like 20 people in the shot. You know what I'm saying? I would tell I would tell artists don't don't invite everybody at the same time to be like okay, everybody pull up at the shoot, but everybody just wait, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, where am I going to go in? Because you didn't manage people, you don't know how to manage people on set, don't know how to manage your time. You know what I'm saying? You have to be like, if I'm shooting this scene, okay, I'm, I'm doing my performance, my performance scene with this artist. I don't need hunger people right now. You know what I'm saying? If I'm doing my performance, if I do my solo performance, maybe it might take maybe like an hour, okay, from 11 to 12, I'm doing this performance shot, okay, cool. And from maybe 12 to 12, 
12 to 1 o'clock, okay? I do some models shot, you know what I'm saying? You don't have to have models come at 10 o'clock, you know what I'm saying? Just to sit there and wait for 11 to go in, you know what I'm saying? Tell them, okay, cool. Y'all come in at 10.30, you know what I'm saying? You know, some people are always going to be late, so give them like a 30 minute margin, you know what I'm saying? So by the 10 to 11, by the time they, everybody pull up, you know what I'm saying? The model comes in at maybe 11 o'clock. You're already done with the artist. Now you you do the shoot, do the scene with the models. You know what I'm saying? Then you have some scene where you have to do, um, shoot all the homies and everybody. You know what I'm saying? Tell the homie, okay, you guys come in at, at 1 o'clock only. 1 o'clock. You don't have to be there at 10 o'clock and then wait till like 1 o'clock to, to get your scene, um, to get your scene shot. You know what I'm saying? And uh, that comes from managing, managing your set, managing your shoot. You know, it's very important because so many of these I, I I used to see a lot of people come in just hanging around and then, oh, shoot, it's time to go pick up a kid from school. It's time to go, the babysitter is calling. Uh, oh, I got to go to work. I got to go this because, and everybody start leaving because you didn't plan the shoot right. You know what I'm saying? And then you thought everybody would be there all day, but people got things to do. So it's very important that... Uh, uh, it's very important that uh, you manage your shoot very well, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and let people know what time they got to come. They have to be there, you know, precisely. So don't have everybody just sitting around, just like waiting, like, and people get bored and then people start, like, complaining. <laughs> you know, when it comes to me, you know, if you come to the shoot, be prepared. I don't want to hear no, no complaint, you know what I'm saying? If you come to support your friend, Make sure you got time for it. You know what I'm saying? If I tell if you if your friend tell you you come to eleven to twelve, make sure you come make sure you prepare to be there for eleven to twelve. Don't come in at twelve at eleven thirty blah, blah, I gotta go all that crap, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you gotta be there for your homies, you know what I'm saying? I don't sometimes that thing just uh, piss me off when people come in like they start making they start doing all kinds of stuff on set. Like this is a set. People paying for it, you know what I'm saying? This is not a game, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's very important that uh, 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 you respect somebody's money, you respect somebody's time, you respect people, uh, um, uh, people effort. That's come from managing, you know? And uh, um, so those are the three things, you know what I'm saying, that uh, that bring confidence to a filmmaker, you know? It's very, very challenging, especially nowadays, you know, the economy is messed up everybody trying to get some money so you got to make sure that you got people right on time and get them do what they need to do and then everybody can move on that day you know and and i've seen you know time manage time management is very very important you know my friend a friend of mine it was the first time uh rented the studio here in atlanta to shoot the video it booked three hours you know i kept telling bro you know this time be creeping up too fast. Like, no, I got three hours, man. This is just a quick shoot. <laughs> and then, <laughs> just to plug, just to plug your lights. You know, see, sometimes people don't think of all that stuff. Okay, I gotta plug my lights. I gotta, I gotta make sure. I gotta put my camera on the gimbal. I gotta tune in. I gotta make sure it's stable. You know what I'm saying? All this thing takes time that maybe you didn't think of it. You know what I'm saying? Those that's come with preparation. But if you like thought of it, okay, it's gonna take me like 15 minutes to set up my um to set up my uh, my camera on the gimbal. I have to test it to make sure it's it's moved the way I want it. You know, it's gonna take me like maybe another half hour to set up this light because set up light, you know, it's, just, it's not just plug the light. You have to set up and make sure that the light fit what you're trying to do. It fit, are you, is, is it, are those light the right place? Are, is that the type of lighting that you want? You know what I'm saying? So um, it's so very important that for people to understand um, preparation uh, um, for, is very important and, and bring you confidence. And, um, so you got preparation, you know, you got practice, practice also very, very important. And then, um, you have management, you know what I'm saying? You got to manage your set, manage people on set. You know, if you only got one artist easier, you know what I'm saying? You can move around and shoot, 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 shoot. But, you know, when you have a lot of people, it's very important to manage your set, you know, and, and, um, it takes skill, skill, uh, it takes skill, a uh, filmmaker to really, have a good, you know what I'm saying? Uh, somebody asked Stacy for can kind who need videography can they help you in any way to make your job easier? Sure, you know me. I always I always tell people to come on set, man. You know me for me the better. You know most of this shoot, you know um, 
I've, you know, I've done so many music videos, man. Most of these people, sometimes I pull up by myself, man, because, you know, one thing about me, like, I do not, <laughs> and, you know, I do not want to think I can't stand, you know what I'm saying? It's just, people tell me some, oh, I'm going to be there, and then they don't show up, you know what I'm saying? That's a, that's a, that's a no, no, no for me. That's why most of the time, I don't even have time for, for no extra, extra BS, you know what I'm saying? If you're going to be there, Tell okay, I'm gonna be there, Vado. You know what I'm saying? And then there's always, there's always gonna be something for you to do. You know what I'm saying? There's always if you can hold the light. You know what I'm saying? I can teach you, but don't, <laughs> don't because I know how this thing is expensive. Man. I know how people spend their money. People, you know, it's very hard to get. You know, people don't want. People want uh, artists. I would tell artists. You know, you wanna, you wanna. The production company is supposed to make everything easier for you, you know what I'm saying? So you just come in and be an artist and perform, you know what I'm saying? That's what you pay for, you know what I'm saying? But some, 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 sometimes I just want to be a, sometimes do too much on set. No, that's what you pay for. You pay <laughs> for the production company to organize it for you, you know what I'm saying? You just come in as a, you know what I'm saying, as an artist because you got to still deliver your performance. You see, you got to bring those emotions. You can't bring those emotions when you're on the phone making sure, that, oh, the models is there, oh, is the model there, oh, my homie coming, you know what I'm saying? Like, my homie is going to be there or not. You don't want to, you don't want to be stressful or stressed up about it. That's why I always ask artists to, Please give me your give me your homie's phone. Give me all those people that you feel like gonna be there, and let us let us make the call. You know, I got people who ready. I got people who can make the call for that. I got people who can make sure that everybody's gonna be there. The car that you rent is gonna be there. You know, that's what I do. That's a that's a production company. That's preparation. You know, but sometimes artists wanna. You know, if I don't blame, but you know, if it's, if you wanna take on and do those things, don't let it don't let it mess up the shoot. You know what I'm saying? And so, yeah, clients, clients can also, we need video, can, you know, you can help. You know what I'm saying? You can help. I, I always good for extra help. You know, so there's always a, a light to hold. There's always a, a, a camera to hold. There's a little sound you can pull up and watch. You know what I'm saying? That's how confident I am in my shoot. Maybe when I first started, I was a little bit, a little bit nervous because I didn't, know, I didn't know if I was doing it right. But now I've done so many of these, like I, I, can, I can shoot in front of anybody. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's what that's uh anybody can you know if you have any question you know don't hesitate to ask you know what I'm saying I'm 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 really I, I, let me go through this question here let me see if anybody has another question here David what's up what's up what's up uh. David, hold on. Any question? If any have, anybody have any question? Yeah. So I'm gonna be doing this live. Um, you know, my team want me to do this live. You know, I don't. I don't. <laughs> I'm a behind the scene guy. I don't like. Can I don't like too much camera in my face. You know, that's what I'm freaking sweating right now because i'm not used to light you know so i'm used to putting lights on people i'm not used to but they want me to do this live all the time for my academy you know and mm, right now the academy is doing great you know we just had this uh um uh, we had this workshop this summer in omaha it was great we just you just wanted 15 kids but 20 show up you know so it was it was it was beautiful you know we send our certificate to all the kids you know we're about to do another a workshop this time we're going to be here in atlanta we're trying to do it um we're trying to have it done this halloween we're trying to have the halloween i have uh, uh, my friend bp on set you know what i'm saying i'm going to join forcer with him to do that and i have a uh another um bp be doing live he be doing like a live uh be recording stuff live so he's very very dope very very uh great friend of mine you know, um, yeah, and then we teaming up with another, um, um, another person called Savio. You know, what I'm saying we're gonna come together and, and make and do this, a bigger, a bigger uh, workshop. You know, what I'm saying it's gonna be Halloween. I'm trying to do. It. It's gonna be Halloween. You know, we set up the days. You know, all this thing um, sometimes changes, but you know, we're trying to do one here in Atlanta. It's gonna be major, and then we're gonna come to. Uh, to LA and do another one we over there with Stacy Floyd, you know. And then he said, as an artist, there's an independent who work on this thing already. 
and that's it that is independent okay things that way yeah you know um okay yeah just to recap you know what i'm saying to be a, a a confident filmmaker you know you gotta be you gotta prepare your shoot make sure that uh, uh you know you know what time you're shooting you know the weather is people sometimes forget the weather you know i've been to so many shoots that i like, start raining like oops <laughs> nobody checked the weather it's very important to check the weather you know what i'm saying major shoot sometimes you know, you can pull up major shoot sometimes, you get like a hundred people and then if you start raining and then you should still gotta pay people and people gotta gotta go home. You know what I'm saying? So say correction, do you rather them depend on your judgment? Okay. So when it comes to uh judgment as far as what concept or or as far as uh, uh be a little bit more specific. When you say uh depend on the judgment as an artist, uh, independent work, uh, we did think already. Correction, do you rather them depend on your judgment? Um, hi, Susan, how you doing? <laughs> Susan, yeah, that's the, uh, uh, she's a soft skill. She's the one that be helping me with the, the academy, right off my academy. Thank you so much uh, for everything that you do, uh, helping me get this uh, academy going. You know, I know it's very, very challenging and, and um, I'm trying to, I'm going to try to be, I'm going to be consistent. <laughs> I'm going to be consistent. I don't want me to go live all the time. I'm going to be consistent. This was supposed to be yesterday, but you know, I'm doing it today. I'm trying to see if uh, every Tuesday will be fine. Let me, guys, let me know if Tuesday is fine at this time around is fine or I can move back to Monday. Usually Monday is my drone, is my uh, vital film um, 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 drone Mondays. So I'm trying to focus more that day on drone, on drone, uh, uh, drone shoot you know what i'm saying so I'm, I'm trying to see if tuesday is a good time for my academy because i'm trying to do this every week now i'm trying to do this uh every week um 12 you know 12 i think this is a better this is a great time you know what i'm saying tuesday 12 o'clock is a great time you know and i have a shoot i have a shoot in sioux falls um in a couple of days in, on thursday it's two major shoot you know what i'm saying with my guy espionage young espionage you got two dope song um that you're about to shoot you went all in man we got you, you see this you gonna be amazing i can't wait i got my drone where's that drone at where's that freaking drone at? oh yeah i got my drone bang bro i thought you know i almost lost this drone. <laughs> funny thing i almost lost this drone again yesterday man that thing went up the body was going down now i got three batteries you know so i got three batteries now Got three batteries, but you know, as as the battery was going up, you know, I was flying that thing. My my finger was wet. I couldn't. I it has to go down, but I couldn't push the the thing on my on my um on my phone because my finger was wet. So you know, sometimes when the battery's dead, dying, and then the drone gotta go up first before it go down. So I couldn't push can cancel for me to fly it down. So. That thing went up this <laughs> it went up phew. And I was lucky I wasn't by the, I, I was I wasn't by the water, I was by the rock. So like that thing kept going up. I keep wanting to push it to cancel it. That thing wasn't working. Uh, yeah, she said whenever well, was it. Okay, cool. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah. So I'm gonna lost it again, man, but you know, you know, that's that's what drone is, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes shit, I don't you know, if I every time I lose my drone, I know I got the perfect shot. You know what I'm saying? That's what I always say. <laughs> Every time I lose my drone, that means I was focusing too much on, on getting the perfect shot that I didn't pay attention sometime of, you know what I'm saying, or, or the, the drone actually. <laughs> but, you know, I did have some amazing, amazing shot yesterday, you know what I'm saying? Uh, after three weeks of not having a drone and finally be able to get back on it and, and do it again, you know what I'm saying? We know uh, just one finger. <laughs> You know that was very dope so uh yeah today you know what i'm saying i think that we if you guys have any question you know what i'm saying um 
if you have you guys have any question you know what i'm saying don't hesitate to ask me you know but i'm trying to do this thing every tuesday i think every tuesday gonna be the best time for me to do it you know what i'm saying because monday i want to focus more on the drone you know what i'm saying and um i got some people that i'm training that i want to uh i want to start training drone so if you have a drone or you want to start you know what i'm saying doing some if in atlanta and uh, on mondays usually i usually draw is drone day for me so if you um if you got something cool that you want me to pull up and we can we can work on drones and you know what i'm saying if you got your drone you can fly your drone you can fly my drone i don't care <laughs> you know what i'm saying i usually don't pay, uh, care too much uh about this thing as long as we, we create something amazing um but if you guys have any question um okay stay as correction do rather them depend on judgment when when you say judgment does it talk do you do you are uh, talking about creativity or talking about concept you know what i'm saying usually usually one uh you said bring the drone to cali <laughs> Hey, I will bring the girl to Cali, man. I got this dope, you know. I'm pulling up in Cali, you know. I'm saying we're gonna do a. a this time we're gonna be dope, you know. Um, what's up, <laughs> money, money now? What's good, brother? Yeah. So yeah, man. I'm doing this uh, live thing, you know. what I'm saying about the confidence of being a filmmaker. You know, as a DJ, as a DJ, you know how confidence. You know, what I'm saying you have to be to become a. Uh, to to manage to a uh, DJ, you know what I'm saying. Sometimes it depends if you're in the, uh, if you're like thousand people in front of you, you got two person in front of you, you know what I'm saying. It's a uh, it's a thing. So, but if you guys have any question, um, don't hesitate. You know what I'm saying about being about the confidence of a filmmaker. You know, don't don't hesitate to ask me. You know, say so bring the gun to Cali. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. When it comes to creativity, you know, um. Creativity is very important. First, what I would say, like uh, as an artist, you know, um, once you wrote, once you write your song, you know, you have a vision. When you know, when you write your song, you got a vision. You know, what I'm saying, I would like to take that vision. I would like to take that uh, uh, that that spark. You know, what I'm saying, I call that the spark. You know, uh, and you know, when I get that spark, I was as an artist because I don't like to impose my vision. Uh, um, to 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 your creativity, I always like to get that spark. You know, when to write your song, you know, for example, if you write your song about girls or whatever, you know, what I'm saying about the street, you know, what I'm saying about so whatever. I like to say, I like to ask you a couple questions. You know, what I'm saying like, what do you see when you wrote? What did you? What did you envision when you wrote your song? You know, and then I take that spark and then I make to make it to a big fire. You know, what I'm saying, and that's when you know I write the script based on your idea. You know what I'm saying, and uh, um, and I present to you. Now we discuss. You know what I'm saying, the concept, what you think of this, what you think of that, and I would tell people like, everything depends on your budget. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. You can have this. You can be creative as you want, but sometimes your budget limits your creativity. You know what I'm saying. Depends. You know, you, you, you sometimes be like, okay, I want, I want to be, uh, for example, like. Uh, I want to do a shoot maybe on a yacht. You know, you know what I'm saying? You need to have the money for the yacht. You know what I'm saying? And you need the money to get the models. You need to you need money for that. You know what I'm saying? If you don't have that, you got to limit yourself. Uh, um, you have to limit yourself to to what you can afford. You know what I'm saying? And so he asked, do you shoot by by the song or by the feeling? Ooh, that's very, very, that's very. I usually like, um, so, so most of the time, you know, it depends on the shooting, it depends on the artist, you know what I'm saying? And, and as, as I, I, you know, I've been shooting for 10 years now and before it was very, very hard before we used to pull up and just go be what we got, you know what I'm saying? Okay, cool. You say 10 homies was pulling up, but sure, we only got one homies. You tell us, say, okay, this model was supposed to come. You only got one model. It's like, okay, let's shoot what we got right now, what we've seen right now. You know what I'm saying? So that's why sometimes uh, um, shooting by what you see, you know what I'm saying? What the final, the final, the final thing is what usually like, okay, now this is what reality is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We at this part, there's nobody, you know what I'm saying? That we, you know, you invited your friend, nobody show up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You invited this, nobody show up. No, this is what we got, okay? 
either we postpone it or we shoot what we got you know what i'm saying so that's usually when uh, um you know what i'm saying uh what we got on the spot matters and uh, change the concept of the video um they can make a way out of nowhere yeah you know what i'm saying many times man, many times especially in the artists many times we make things out of nowhere you know what i'm saying like oh damn there's nobody like what we got, what we making out of this you know what i'm saying then we create some great videos uh, you know what i'm saying with what we had um what's up what's up sam um what's up good montana what, what's good uh yeah, if you have any more questions, you know what I'm saying, ask me. But today, today I just wanted to talk about, this is the first life, you know, I'm not, um, what will you tell a beginner? Oh, that's very really interesting. Okay, you know, um, what will I tell a beginner, a filmmaker? Um, that's very, really, very really interesting. Damn, you just had to go with the flow, man, because these shoots are very, uh, don't overthink, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't overthink this shoot sometimes too much. Don't overthink, man, because if you overthink too much, you're gonna be stressed for nothing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're gonna be, as a beginner, and I understand you wanna make sure that, uh, uh, it's about confidence, man. You know, somebody that hire you to shoot a video, sometimes you can cover the set and everything don't work out. Your drone is not working, your camera is me mess messing up. Your stabilizer is tripping, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just have to stay confident. It's all about confidence, all about confidence. You know what I'm saying? It's all about how you how you control your set. It's okay, cool. Okay, and be, be truthful with the artist. Okay, cool. Hey, look, my stabilizer ain't working. You know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna handheld this video, okay? It's, just gonna, it's all about the result. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna get your video, but they, don't panic. When you panic, it show it show it show lack of confidence, you know what I'm saying? But your drum might not work, anything might not work, you know what I'm saying? It's like, okay, cool. You still gonna make this work, you know what I'm saying? Just have to be a little bit more confident. Um so if you have a difficult client, does it make it this harder? High budget or low budget? Oh, um, difficult client. Hmm. I don't think I ever you know, I was, I was, uh, um, I've always, you know, I take my, I take my, 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 my business very serious, man. <laughs> yeah, I don't play around. You know, that's why I always overdo, it, you know what I'm saying? I always, I always give more than people expect. That's why I have like, maybe, I don't think I ever even have any difficult client because I was like, people always know Vado come in, Vado gonna make it happen. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Even if I pull on my phone, you know what I'm saying? I've, I've shown that confidence, even if I pull on my phone, people know I'm still gonna make the thing happen because it's not about, something about all this equipment. People be coming out with those 8K, 9K, 10K cameras, but they can't even shoot nothing. It's about giving a beautiful story. You know what I'm saying about shooting. I can. I, I will show some. I will show some videos later on that I share with my phone. And be like, oh man, with your phone. Yes, your phone. That about how confident you are. You know. So if you tell an artist, if somebody know you're confident, you know what I'm saying. If everything fall off, like okay, cool, bro. I'm gonna pull up my phone and shoot this thing with you. You're like, oh really? Yeah, don't worry about it. Just watch out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. So I don't think I ever had any any kind of difficult client. Maybe it's just uh, uh no not on set though you know what I'm saying so when so when your opinion is more about the eye of the videographer than the camera yes yeah, all about the eye of the videographer than the cameras well said man it's all about the eye of the videographer than the camera you know what I'm saying now that you can shoot some amazing footage with your phone I did I've done some dope commercial <laughs> in my phone man you know what I'm saying. And it came out pretty dope. When I tell people I shot that, that thing in my phone, I'm like, oh, really? I would tell people it's not about how I pull up. It's not about the end result. You know what I'm saying? I went to, um, I remember this shoot in New Orleans. You know that I just, uh, um, I just released this video, actually. You know what I'm saying? I went over there with my <laughs> so I carry my drone. You know what I'm saying? I've, I'm sure they probably look at me like, what the fuck? I say, hey, look. <laughs> hey, it turned out to be my best video ever, man. 
Because my bad house, my bad all these fences, people be using too many fences. I be seeing people like all this extra stuff. You know, but it's not about giving a beautiful story. You know what I'm saying? It's all about giving a beautiful story. Um, it's about, uh, yeah, it's all about giving a beautiful story, right? So, phone or 8K camera, 10K cameras, you know, all that thing don't really matter. You know what I'm saying? It's all about giving that eye. Um, yeah, so I think for today, you know what I'm saying? We did what? Almost like only 15 minutes. You know what I'm saying? It's supposed to be maybe only 30 minutes. You know, if you have any more questions, I got five more. I got a couple more minutes. No, a couple more minutes to get it done. So, um, yeah, it's all about. What's up, Snake Lucci? How you doing, brother? <laughs> That's dope, man. It's all about the eye of the, the it's all about the eye. Well said, Mr. Stacy, man. <laughs> you know, you and I have been doing some great things, man. You know what I'm saying? I can't wait. I can't wait, man, to go come back over there in, uh, um, in LA and, and, and create. You know what I'm saying? We got some dope projects coming up. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know? Yeah. So, uh, for just to recap for those who, uh, who just joined in, you know what I'm saying? Today we're talking about how to be confident as a filmmaker you know i came with three things about uh, confidence you know what i'm saying the first thing is preparation you know what i'm saying you got to be prepared you got to know when what you sh what you're shooting you have to know who's going to be there you have to know what type of angle do i need to shoot what type of lighting i need to bring you know, the second thing is practice you got to keep practicing 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 because you know if you don't do it, if you don't, if you stop doing anything for too long, you know what I'm saying, your skill gonna kind of like uh, um, go down a little bit. But if you keep practicing, you're gonna uh, you're gonna be more confident. You know what I'm saying. The third thing is management. You know what I'm saying. Management. You know what I'm saying. When you are um, on set, when you have all these people now, you know you're a leader. You know what I'm saying. The director. You know what I'm saying. You have to know how to manage um, everybody on set, whether it's the light. Uh, person the light crew the 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 um the camera crew the uh, models artists you gotta know you gotta manage everybody that come with uh, uh um that come with management you know what i'm saying and more the more you're confident the more you can manage uh better but you have to have all the those all the men in your in your hand. So those are the three things. You know what I'm saying? If you have you guys don't have any more questions, you know what I'm saying? I'ma check back uh on you uh, with you guys uh next week, same time. You know what I'm saying? I am trying to do this every Tuesday, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna be uh I'm gonna start having a lot more guests, but you know, this is the first time. I'll tell you you gotta start, man. You know what I'm saying? I was nervous doing this live thing, you know, I'm not the live person. <laughs> I do this thing, but you know, you gotta keep doing it. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna try to do this, uh we're gonna do this, not try, we're gonna do this every Tuesday. I think this is a perfect time for it. You know what I'm saying? So I still got time to do some work. But um I've been in Sioux Falls um on Thursday shooting this video and um it's gonna be late. It's a dope video. And I'm going there with confidence, you know what I'm saying? I'm going there with confidence. You know, couple of things that I need. I still need a couple of things that I need to check in, but you know what I'm saying. But that's nothing. That's uh, um, you know, still gotta be confident. Still gotta. It's a two shoots, two video shoots. So, you know, it's gonna be a, a, it's gonna be great. So, yeah. So, if anybody don't have any more question, I'm gonna give them maybe like thirty more seconds, and see if anybody have a question, and then we're gonna log out. You know, and um. Just to segue a little quick, just to plug a couple of things, uh, real quick. Um, thank you, the the Vital Film Cameroon. We got this donut line over there going crazy. You know, so I'm about to do a test, uh, uh, a test party. You know, what I'm saying uh, in Cameroon for these donuts, amazing. <laughs> you know, what I'm saying and then we're gonna do a test party here in in um, in uh in the US. I think the test, the US one, gonna be. Um, I think next month, yeah, next month. You know, so we wanna make sure that everything everything's set. So it's still a, we're still in the uh, early stage of this um, of this company, but it's very well. Um, everything is great, man. The donut is amazing, man. This is a whole different type of donut, man. Um, 
you know, it's very great. You know, we're introducing donut in Cameroon, man. You know, coming with the concept. You know, donut. People sometimes don't know, man. Um, I'm not just a filmmaker. I'm a businessman. You know, um, I would say I'm just a businessman who know how to use his camera. So, um, you know, so um, I have this donut line going in. You know, what I'm saying Cameroon. You know, um, doing the test this uh, Saturday. You know, we want, we want everybody to pull up if you're in Cameroon. You know what I'm saying? This is going to be in Douala, Cameroon. Pull up. You know what I'm saying? It's free donut. Free donut for everybody. You know? Uh, so, yeah, that's what it is. So, um, you know, it, no more questions. So, I'm going to check back with you guys next Tuesday. And then uh, I'm going to be, uh, uh, we're going to do more, um, uh, we're going to talk more about filmmaking. You know, I have a lot. I have a lot. Sometimes I be tell people, like, ask me a question, man. You know, uh, I, I'm not, I'm not shy to, I'm not, uh, I, I'm not stingy with my, uh, my knowledge. You know what I'm saying? I'm giving knowledge. <laughs> I've been waiting for people to ask me a question about filmmaking. You know what I'm saying? Whether any area, you know what I'm saying? I can answer all those questions. So, but anyway, thank, thank you to everybody for tuning in. You know, um, we here in Atlanta. Um, and then, um, thank you. Have a good day, guys. And then uh, for those, I will post this video, this live on my Facebook, on YouTube also. And then uh, we're going to start doing it every every Tuesday. What's up, Marlo G? <laughs> hey, Marlo G, what's good, brother? <laughs> Thank you for tuning in, man. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So I'm going to get back to... Uh, to think so I have to leave I'm back. Thank you for sharing your knowledge. Oh okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. Um uh, yeah that's it. You know, I'll just um uh, ask if anybody have any more questions. You know what I'm saying before I, I log out. You know what I'm saying? But uh, you know I'm very very busy nowadays man. I still pull up and do things, I still do graphic, you know what I'm saying? If you ask me for fly, I still do fly, I still do covers, mixtape covers, I still do uh video I got my song that's out right now called No Callback. But I fuck around, I got me a hit, man. This is a freaking hit. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to, I'm starting the promotion of that song. I would say November. You know what I'm saying? I'm letting that song play out. That song is already doing good in Africa and Cameroon. You know, I, I've been getting a lot of videos, man. You know, I'm just so busy. I haven't got a chance to post all those videos. You know what I'm saying? But I've been getting a lot of videos. People loving it, man. It's a very dope. So, SOT Illy, man. Illy bless me with a... Illy child bless me with a... Be the, be the freaking hit, man. And, you know, I'm about to sell a million of those... Of those motherfuckers, man. Straight up. I ain't playing around. <laughs> I'm about to sell a million of these motherfuckers. I sometimes be doing these things just to show artists that, man, it's not that hard, man. You know, I was just performing at KOD the other night. You know what I'm saying? It's not that hard. You know, just have to move around. Just have to, you know, just have to, got to put your ego down. <laughs> you know, so you got to ask. You know what I'm saying? Then people are going to give you things. People are going to show you places to go. People are going to put you in position. You know what I'm saying? You cannot. That self-made mentality is... You know what I'm saying? That's that's not cool. You know what I'm saying? We all need help sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Everybody need help, man. Don't don't let them people fool you. You know what I'm saying? So ask questions. Ask, hey, how can I perform a KOD? How can I perform places? You know, so most of these places you will be surprised so easy like that to perform. You'll be like, oh, it's really? Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just gotta just gotta move around. You just gotta check in. You gotta, gotta you know what I'm saying? You gotta you gotta put your ego down, man. What what I notice with artists? What I notice? Too much freaking ego, man. I've seen a lot of people that we could be making a lot of fucking. <laughs> I see people that could be moving around, but everybody want to be like, yeah, I'm the, I'm the, I'm the, I'm the one, I'm the boss, I'm the. Nah, sometimes that's why she is stagnant because you can do everything by yourself. <laughs> you can't do everything by yourself, man. You gotta, you gotta ask for help. You know what I'm saying? Where you need to. You know what I'm saying? There's no shame. There's no if somebody may fuck it. <laughs> you all you all need help you know what i'm saying so uh, um you know it just comes for ego too much ego in the game that's why a lot of people you know what i'm saying and you know and when you when you put a song out when you put a thing out you got to promote it man you got to promote your song you got to promote your video i hate when i put my time be going in for these videos man but you know you know last video that i did <laughs> i will give you a straight five before i log out man well, this video, uh, this video, actually, this video, uh, that I want to shot, um, you know, I want to shot in New Orleans. 
you know what I'm saying? It was, it was a religious kind of song, you know what I'm saying? So they wanted me to fast, you know what I'm saying? They asked me if I could fast uh, for 24 hours. <laughs> I was like, oh, shoot. <laughs> I wasn't even supposed to, I'm not supposed to go all day without eating. So, okay, cool. I'm like, okay, shit, that's how you want me to do, okay? I'm going to fast then, okay? I'm going to go in because I believe in your vision. That's how you want everybody to be in that spirit to shoot this video for this video to be great. Okay, cool. Okay, I'm going to fast. So I fasted for 24 hours <laughs> before I shot this video. Man. You know, so I just want to tell people, like, I'll be going in for your vision to make sure your vision is right, man. I'll be going in. So when the video comes in, you know, comes out, please take the time to share. Take the time to sponsor your video. Take the time to share, you know what I'm saying? Man, everybody that working your video be proud. Like, okay, I was proud of this video. This video is doing numbers. You know what I'm saying? This video do, is only, this is only one thing to shoot a video. So you gotta promote it. So you gotta, you see, have to share. It's a business, man. You, you gotta make money. <laughs> you know, what I'm saying you wanna be making money as an artist. You know, what I'm saying because if you don't make money, you're gonna feel like you spend. You're only spending money to, on on your stuff, but you ain't making no money because you ain't doing no promotion. Right now, if somebody pull you right now, you'd be like, okay, cool. Do you have a business card? How can I check? You don't even have nothing. You know, what I'm saying I remember taking a lot of these artists to places and they didn't even have no thing to be like, oh, I'm an artist, like. Go check my music here's a link or uh, the time to like oh check check my instagram all that's on my phone it's too too long get a business card you know what i'm saying with your song and this this one right here babe. you know what i'm saying get a business card get your stuff right there bang you know so people can scan it right away bang you know what i'm saying i created this thing for artists you know what I'm saying? Easy. You know what I'm saying? Don't have to be like, oh, check my Instagram. Nah, all that crap is, all that stuff is play out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know what I'm saying? Just all this stuff, be a little bit more mindful, be understanding this business. If you want to keep doing this stuff, you guys start making money off this thing. You don't have to go do an extra job to come and finance this, this passion that you have. This passion can give you a lot of money. So, um, so that's all that's all i want to talk about today uh thank you for tuning in you know what i'm saying and um have a blessed day y'all you know what i'm saying thank you everybody all right i'm gonna check back to with y'all later on